Okay, so it's really important to keep the toys away and don't let your dogs have access to anything and everything 24 hours a day without you um, letting them know that this resource you control and you're the fun. So it's just another um, asset that you can own and um, really help your dogs earn this as a reward because to have a toy is a reward. So all our toy boxes and all the toys are kept away in a cupboard. So tonight I've decided to have some toy box time with Mock and Jaffa. So I've got the toy box out and as you can see, they're just waiting patiently. So this is how I do it and how I let the dogs have a toy. So even when I put it down, they're not allowed to touch it. They have to wait. So the dog is accustomed, it's in their DNA to work and wait for everything because nothing in their life, um, very instinctually said, nothing in their life is for free. So the more you can get your dog to work and wait for everything, the better, more balanced dog you'll have. So I shall put this down and they're not allowed to touch it. So this is the next phase. So come on, over here. I'll just see if I can get them in front of the camera. Here we go. Believe you me, they really want it. Hopefully you can see that. Yep. So they'll look at me. You can see they're looking at me. They're not looking at the toys. Because in essence, you want to be everything to your dog. You want to be the fun. Ah. See, good challenge for her. You want to be the fun. You want to be the ball, you want to be the toy, you want to be the food, you want to be everything. You want to be everything, not that. Okay. Good girl. So they'll go and they'll find their favourite toy. <laughs> and then I'll engage in play. also stop play when they still want more so never let your dogs dictate when you start and when you stop play you always want to be the one that starts the fun and stops the fun it's a really valuable thing for you to have and mocker of course this is her favorite toy <laughs>